Well, hello there, YouTube. Uh, you have no idea. You're probably going, oh, look at that. It's nice and beautiful there in Toledo, Washington today. Nope. 15 minutes ago, it was Typhoon Mary. You can see everything's still dripping wet out here. It has been dumping. But for the next couple hours, there's like a, it drops to like 24% chance of rain. It's only like 54 out here. You can get my, my little shop coat and stuff on. But um, yeah, it's coming back. It's showing in the in the next half hour we're gonna have some thunderstorms though. But it should it should get nicer. Maybe we can oh look where Annie ran and slopped through the mud. Her feet are gonna be too dirty to get anything done. So it's like yeah, it's like quarter <laughs> it's like quarter after uh one. And uh we've been just kind of sloughing around today. And uh, enjoying our time off. The rain's actually relaxing. There's no stress to do anything. Look how much that grass has grown since, what was that, Wednesday I cut it? Wednesday night? Or Thursday night, I don't remember. I think it was Wednesday night. Just jungled out. It's like springtime. You cut that grass and it goes, hello. But uh, anyway, I'm still <laughs> working on yesterday's video for today's release, so... I'll apologize a day later because that's when you're going to see this for uh, yesterday, which is literally right now, late release on uh, on yesterday's video. <laughs> it's hard to keep that all straight in your head. It'd be nice if you could, if you just did everything live stream so everything's just like right now. I mean, I can, but yeah, that's no fun. But anyway, that's what's left of what came over. This is the first time I took the dogs out because Miss Miss Pris here freaks out over getting her feet wet. You can see where she's at. Standing on the sidewalk. She'll go out there and do her business. But that's it. <laughs> what kind of weird look is that, Sasha? You crazy dog. Anyway, let's get that video done. Welcome at the moment to a beautiful Saturday, October 10th. 2020. So you know the issue having with the uh, um, 2011 Road Glide Custom. <laughs> I can't think straight right at the moment. Caught myself on gu off guard, and that's why I just turned the camera on to talk about. I just noticed something with the uh, Milwaukee Eights that I never noticed. But still in here, Danny? Just heard something fall over. But, uh, the smoke family ghost, I reckon. But, um, check this out. If you look down here, where the shift arm attaches to the transmission right there, there's, I don't know if you can see the gap underneath. Here, let me do something here and it'll make this very visual here put a light down there so you can see the see the gap see this gap right here between the shift arm and the inside of the um, chain case cover on every Harley I've ever seen that arm cannot be taken off because that arm the the inner chain case cover is literally right there at the edge of that arm it's impossible. You gotta pull the whole chain case off. Check that out. You can absolutely take that out on a Milwaukee 8. Harley, why didn't you do that years before? And looking down there, it almost looks like the diameter of the shift shaft is larger. So what happened on uh, Sean's is the only teeth that are left on that arm right on the edge all the teeth through here are gone so yeah it's got to be replaced and the crazy thing is is you know i whenever i do services inspections whatever i always reach down here with a quarter inch allen i got a long ones reach down there and give that thing a, a tug make sure she's tight 
Well, I remember when I had the chain case cover off, you know, doing the stator and stuff on his, I reached up there and, I mean, it didn't move. It was tight. Like crazy tight. So, no harm, no foul. Didn't have to worry about nothing. Well, you know, when you're looking on the outside and you see those teeth on the shaft and on the arm, you're thinking everything's okay. I, I, I've literally never seen one do what this one did. Well, I've seen them strip out before, but to just be on the one end like that and still work. It's funny, he was like freaking out that I rode the thing. Dude, you have no idea. <laughs> You're lucky you made it. I'm like, dang. I should have called you before I went off on the test ride. Well, I wasn't really sure, you know, so I thought, is it does it have a shifting problem? Everything is tied here. And look, they went to the hind joint style on these linkages instead of the old ball. It's like a stud with a ball on it, and then they pop on. Those, uh, you know, over time were notorious for when they got wore out for popping off. Everybody complains about that, but look how many Harleys you see with the stock arms on there. Everybody swapped those things around and put some custom one on there. Now, if Harley decided to put a custom one on there, everybody would complain they put the wrong custom one on there. Well, that's not the kind of one to put. See, I can't get in there. Same on the Road King. Exactly the same. I absolutely, absolutely could get that arm off with the chain case cover installed. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Harley. A few years too late, but thank you. I received these last week. I was going to talk to you guys about them. Whoa, that's some bad white balance with my. This is just one of those little GoPro little clip-on lights with the media pod installed knipex now here in the states most people call it nipex but it's knipex made in germany and uh man what a cool company these are what they call the the plier wrench can't do this one-handed surely i can there we go these open up, these are what's referred to as a six inch or 150 millimeter ones, and they go all the way to 27 millimeters. And what's cool about these things is the way they have this like ratcheting type of thing. This is too big of a bolt or I'm at the wrong, it's too big. I don't have another open, nope. So that's probably 26 millimeters, but they're designed so that when you turn it and you roll back, it goes, it rolls over the bolt. Let me see if I can get an example going here. Hold on just a second. All right, here we are. The old Z50RD. A lot of people want to call it the Christmas special. It just came out in Christmas. It had nothing to do with Christmas. It was something to do with the blue grips. Or I mean, red grips, red seat. I don't have the stock seat for it. But anyway, uh, what they're designed to do, and when you, oops, once you, uh, once you get a bite on them and you put pressure on the back, it it press, self-pressurizes the jaw. You've seen pliers and stuff to do that. Just don't let go of them. But uh, when you squeeze, it's 10 times the amount of force you put on the pliers that's applied at the grip. But as you can see, like say I'd already turned it this far, you ratchet. You just kind of let go of the pressure and it goes backwards for the next turn. You know, pretend I'm, you can use it almost like a ratchet. But look at those smooth, very flat, very precise jaws. And Kinepex is famous for their pliers. They've been around since 1882. They started out making a, a carpenter and furrier um, a wire cutter type or you know for cutting hooves and stuff like that but uh look them you know what i'll see if i can find it the video's a couple three years old oh, i left that light down there <laughs> a couple three years old but uh it's kind of a self-promotional video that knipex did on their own company i love companies like that that Oh man, everything's built in house. You know, they've 
they're set up so you know families can have they have a daycare on site everything is done in-house they build their own machinery they build their own molds everything is done in-house I will find that video and look down in the description and uh, you know you need to watch it's like 12 minutes 13 minutes or something like that I'll find it you just gotta look up Kniepex web or uh, YouTube channel cool stuff but anyway these uh these are the six inch pliers that I got I don't know Monday or whatever it was yeah it was Monday and um you know uh the tool guys sell these things and it's almost double the price of what you can get it on Amazon I was actually going for the I ordered the seven inch because it was nine dollars cheaper than the six inch and I go you know what one extra inch and it goes to 27 millimeters instead of I don't know what it was, 22 or something. And uh, anyway, I, it was a cheaper price for the 7 inch than it was the 6 inch. The 6 must be more popular. I received the 6 inch. Well, that's initially what I wanted anyway, so I'm not complaining. So they got a three piece kit the 7 inch, 10 inch, and 12 inch. The 12 inch, the jaw opens up to 60 millimeters. 60. That's crazy. So, like for a toolkit, for trips and whatnot, 36 millimeter axle, dude, you get that thing dialed. And 27 millimeters, I mean, that's that's huge. But the larger pliers, I don't know what the 7 inch, what their uh, width was. It's kind of hard to do one handed. But, you know, obviously that's not going to, 27 doesn't fit a 36, but you get the gist. I mean, that thing will grab a large bolt. And crazy pressure and it does not slip you know the old what do you call them the crest I don't know what you even call them things the, the and they the jaws bow out and uh, look at their website they explain how they work but they got some really cool pliers too. the uh, they're locking pliers the, those type of locking pliers when once you get uh, a bite on it you just use the back arm you can literally stand on this thing without touching the, the squeeze grip but um, yeah, they got some really cool pliers that guys at work have. I have a cheap pair that are knockoffs that I bought at one of the tool stores. But this is literally a, knock a knockoff of the Knipex version. But these, unlike the Knipex, will you slip and they will bite you really, really hard. Don't buy the cheap ones. This is just a copy. I think, I don't know, Harbor Freight or Tractor Supply or somebody had these things. I mean, they do work and they got the same reverse, you know, the biting teeth and stuff. But, you know, when you pay the price of a Kniepex compared to, I don't know, it's probably 10 or 12 bucks for a three pack of these things. But anyway, I just ordered the three pack that has the uh, 7, 10, and 12. And, um, yeah, for. A survival wrench on road trips and stuff man can't beat them pretty cool stuff anyway let me go see what the mom is doing up there it's getting dark out there the rain finally stopped now that it's two three minutes from sunset <laughs> i love this little light i got from cornwell i think it's discontinued it's been upgraded i have the upgraded one at, at work but it doesn't come with the base station anymore and bright wow and it's got a front facing light and then like two or three um steps with that i don't know how long it lasts i've never burnt the thing down and then when you're done just click it back on there's lithium ion you don't have to worry about memory or none of that stuff with the old lights oh mother nature she sure can be cruel look at this Out there, birds. Y'all don't get all freaked out in there. Some clearing spots. No rain. Everything's still wet out here. What do you think, Danny? I thought you were still in the shop with me. I didn't even know you left. Good boy, Danny. Good boy. Although something fell over in the shop. The ghost is in there again, dadgummit. I thought I got rid of that son of a gun. 
Let me quit talking to you here. Let me grab the mom before we're talking in the dark. Which it basically is. Well, hello there, YouTube. God oh, dang. So we left the the two barkers inside. So uh, Sasha and Annie. So we can use the those 5500 Calvin lights on the shop. It's, oh, though the camera's casting a shadow. Here we we'll have to look down at the camera here a little bit. Whatever. Man, what a rainy, weird day. Weird day. Sunshine. Like, Woo! You go out. Literally, water's floating everywhere, and then pouring. <laughs> Yeah. Literally pouring down rain. Sideways rain. And then there was thunderstorms all around us. I think the closest it said was like three miles or whatever. But the ones we were hearing the loudest were like 13 miles away. They're all around us. Not on top of us. And that was good. Yeah, we've got a warning here in Toledo to stay indoors for the next 30 minutes. And I'm looking, I've got several, I like a lightning strike app and stuff like that. And and they're not even near us but it, you know how that goes if you guys ever lived in the south oh it's coming you're counting it he goes yeah it's about 10 miles bam it hits a tree next to you you know yeah. we told you guys about the story of us being in our friend's pool there in texas that was close yep. I, I i know that me and two of my kids can walk on water yeah <laughs> and i mean literally <laughs> listen to the mom yeah Kelly goes inside was it was the two girls that were in the pool wasn't it yeah yeah I took the boys took the boys in. she's drying them swapping her clothes in a little covered patio thing and bang and I take off across the pool and I'm like oh my god the girls I turn around they just blasted past me they were right behind me <laughs> that's so funny we still we get together every once in a while we still talk about that you guys remember the lightning getting the tree next door Oh Man, yeah. Loud. Lucky is what you were. I'm sure it took a piece of my hearing away, all of ours. Yeah. That was so loud. Never heard anything Split so loud in my life. This great big pecan tree right in half or was it a pecan or oak tree? I think it was a pecan tree. Yeah. Crazy. Big old probably hundred years old. Split that thing right in half. Yeah. It's crazy. crazy. Anyway. I think we've told that story before yeah but that's been years since mm -hmm. we talked about it on video that was those sit inside the house goodbye vlogs yeah you know? remember when video yeah yeah telling the war stories and stuff mm -hmm. but anyway i think on a quiet wet very peaceful though i gotta say yeah. day we're gonna roll out all righty well thank you guys so much for watching we really do appreciate it we will talk to you tomorrow same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up, and you guys have a wonderful Sunday or Monday. Heck yeah. All right. All right. Hopefully we'll be so rainy tomorrow. Yeah. Cross we'll, fingers. We'll find something to do. Talk yep. about pliers and shift linkages. <laughs> I looked, I've seen how much time I spent on that thing. I'll go, I guess that's the vlog today, Kelly. <laughs> yeah. All right. One of them days. Yeah. Oh, well. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.